Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here. And before I get started with this video, if any of you wish to help support mine, Patrick, and Jacob's 3D anime and movies, then please check out my Patreon. The link will be in the description below. Anyways, let's get started with this video. So my amazing friend named Anthony Rouse asked me if I could make a video talking about the top 10 scariest dinosaurs in the Jurassic World franchise. So that will be today's discussion video. However, this video is based off my own personal opinion. So coming at number 10, I would say the Troodon because man, were they scary in Jurassic Park the game or what? Especially when their eyes glowed in the dark and the fact that they hunt in packs and it's hard to escape from them since they can fit anywhere where you can fit basically because they're not very big they're only about half the size of the engine velociraptors so as you can see trodons are dinosaurs you don't want to mess with because even though they're small they're very scary and they definitely deserve to be put at number 10. so coming at number nine this definitely goes to the allosaurus as we've seen in jurassic world battle of big rock the allosaurus was very smart it was able to break apart a trailer and defeat an Assutoceratops very easily, and its size and long arms and fighting experience and speed and teeth definitely makes this predator an insanely scary dinosaur that earned its number 9th place on this list. Coming at number 8, I'd have to say the Baryonyx, since the engine Baryonyx loves to prey on humans, its design looks super scary, this dinosaur could eat you up in a few seconds, and man, that Baryonyx scene in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom underground with the lava, that scares me to this date. And of course, in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 2, the Baryonyx trio definitely scared me as well. And the Baryonyx in the movies is very aggressive, very strong and fast as well. And those giant heavy claws on its hands make it super deadly and very scary. And the fact that it can climb tunnels definitely gives the Baryonyx a number 8 choice for the scariest dinosaurs in the Jurassic World franchise. Now for number 7, I'd say the engine Spinosaurus since you can't escape him in the water and if you have no house or big trees then you can't escape him on land. And he's also very fast and those claws and bite force are extremely muscular. He has very strong arms, legs, a very powerful bite force and which definitely makes this predator insanely scary and the fact that this predator is the second most aggressive predator while Indoraptor is the first also makes this dinosaur very deadly and the fact that the engine Spinosaurus is by far the longest tallest and heaviest and strongest land carnivore in the Jurassic World franchise as of right now definitely explains why I'd give it seventh place for the scariest dinosaurs However, the big part that makes this predator not in the top 5 for scariest is the fact that it's not extremely fast or extremely smart, and since it's so big, you can easily get away from it by climbing a big tree or hiding underground or hiding in a building. So coming at number 6, this goes to the Indominus Rex. She may not be as big or nearly as strong as the engine Spinosaurus, but she's definitely much scarier than him because she hunts for fun, she's much smarter, She's much faster, so like you'll have a way better chance of running the engine Spinosaurus than you would with the Indominus Rex. And the Indominus Rex, it kills for fun. Like obviously the engine Spinosaurus would win, but I just, I'm just saying I would rather come across the engine Spinosaurus than the Indominus Rex because the Indominus Rex is way smarter and it's way faster. Like it's not as aggressive or as strong as the, as the engine Spinosaurus. Like for example, if I was in an aquatic environment, I'd rather come across the Indominus Rex since the engine Spinosaurus is a way better swimmer than the Indominus Rex is. But if I was in an open field or in the jungle, I'd rather come across the engine Spinosaurus since it's not as smart or nearly as fast as the Indominus Rex, if that makes sense. Because at the same time, the Indominus Rex can camouflage as well. And those are the main reasons why I think she is definitely more scary than the engine Spinosaurus, just not as powerful as him. Next for number 5, this definitely goes to the Ultima Source, and here's why. Because of how it looks, and because of what it's a hybrid of, this thing, if you get too close to it, you literally have no chance of survival, and it's faster than you, it can bust down small buildings easily, since it's smart enough to know you went in there, and because it has Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus tail, and Triceratops horns and a T-Rex bite and a Velociraptor hands and intelligence, I bet its roar would also sound more scary than the Indominus Rex. And overall, this hybrid is definitely a lot scarier than the Indominus Rex because of how it looks, because it's more powerful, and because it has a lot more threatening capabilities than the Indominus Rex has. Coming at number four, I'd say the Carnotaurus because of how fast it is, its and its horns, 
and its bite force and extreme aggressiveness, this thing is so fast, you have to run in zigzags and you still might not be able to escape it. And the overall horn and spiky back and roar appearance really terrifies me. And the fact that Maserati Global kept the engine Carnotaurus in a restricted area because of how aggressive it was, and the fact that it hunts and packs definitely gives the Red Devil a fourth place on this list of the top 10 deadliest carnivores in the Jurassic World movie franchise so far. So for number three, this goes to the engine Dilophosaurus. The reason why is it's creepy by the noises it makes and how fast and how strong it is and the fact that it spits venom just like the novel and has long arms with claws and since the Dilophosaurus can sneak up on you, it makes this very terrifying and a, a very scary dinosaur that I recommend you watch out for if you ever go to Isla Nublar. Anyways, off to number two, which is the engine Velociraptor. The reason why I say they are the second scariest dinosaur in the Jurassic World franchise is because of how smart they are, how fast they are, and how strong they are, and their size, and the fact that they were able to hunt in packs and were brave enough to fight a T-Rex and the Indominus Rex, and also the fact that they could fit in any building and the fact that they're able to open doors and their giant toe claws for killing makes them super scary and definitely makes these mini beasts the second scariest dinosaur in the Jurassic World movie franchise so far. Now finally we're at number one which is definitely the scariest dinosaur in the Jurassic World movie franchise so far. It was a hybrid of two insanely deadly creatures. We call it the Indoraptor. The reason why I think the Indoraptor is by far the most scariest dinosaur in the Jurassic World movie franchise so far is because of how smart it is and the fact that it can run on all fours and can just run without them and the roars that it made and the sounds it made were also very scary and how long it's and sharp its arms were and its claws. And since this hybrid is smarter than the Velociraptor and Indominus Rex and the fact that it hunts mainly for humans, its black and yellow design with red eyes makes this beast look like a devil, which makes this hybrid look even more scary. Its black and yellow design with red eyes makes this beast a devil. What makes this hybrid even more scary is the fact that it smiles at you and plays with you before he kills you. When I first saw the Indoraptor on the big screen, it got me terrified to just think about how scared I would have been if I was face to face with this hybrid. The Indoraptor's roar and the fact that it opens its doors and can play dead makes it super scary too. In a deleted scene from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, there is a scene playing with the Indoraptor playing with the human skeleton, which is absolutely terrifying. These were the top 10 dinosaurs in my opinion that are the most scariest ones in the Jurassic World movie franchise so far. Also, before I end this video, I have two last things to say. First, if you wish to help support mine, Patrick, and Jacob's 3D anime movies, then please check out my Patreon. The link will be in the description below, and the sponsors, The King uh, Teespring, will also be in the description below. And lastly, what are your thoughts on this? Do you guys agree with my top 10 list of the scariest dinosaurs in the Jurassic World? franchise if not tell me your top 10 scariest dinosaurs in the jurassic world franchise in your own opinion in the comments down below to end this video i'd like to give a huge thanks to my youtube team patrick one my 2d and 3d animator jacob 101 my 3d animator david church the best director i met on instagram bk go crazy my very first hardcore spinosaurus fan Zane Schiller, my first friend in the Jurassic Park community on Instagram. Anthony Ellis, my drawer who draws epic background pictures that I use in some of my videos. Rapley Sarager, my comedian since he makes me laugh the most. And Animal World, my best dinosaur friend in real life. Also, I got brand new Patreon offers that are currently available on my Patreon for tires. One of them is donating to me, Jacob, and Patrick. If we receive $6,000 a month in Canadian money, We'll be able to quit our jobs and work full time on YouTube. If we receive $2,400 a month, we will be able to work part time instead of full time. And another one is custom Photoshop thumbnails where I make thumbnails that are $5 per one. Another offer is just to support us in general. And then the last one is a YouTube discussion video with me once a month. It can be up to one hour long. That will cost $15 a month. And if you join any of my Patreon offers, your social media links will be in the description below and at the end of every video. 
and you'll also be able to pick future topics for the channel. Me and Patrick have our own website where we talk about our series Jurassic World Survival of the Fittest and where we also post concept art of our upcoming projects and we also post Jurassic Park dinosaur theories like for example we have the Spinosaurus the history of it and we also have Jurassic World Strand on Slazy remaster coming soon and future projects will be posted on our website so if you're interested in reading Jurassic Park fun theories and to speculate come check out our website. Also, if you guys wish to join my Discord server to chat with me about Jurassic Park and other stuff, you're more than welcome to. Just remember to be respectful and polite. The link will be in the description below to my website and my Discord. If you're enjoying the content on my YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything new. Leave a like and a friendly comment. If you have any friends and family who you think would enjoy my content, please share this video with them and also my YouTube channel too. And don't forget to do the exact same thing for my YouTube team and have an amazing day everyone.